What's going on beer lovers and thank you for joining me today on another review on good quality craft beer. I am Charles from Beer Republic and today we are headed over to Colorado and we are going to visit uh, Avery Brewing and we are actually going to review a very special brew from them. Uh, this uh, is Avery Brewing's annual barrel, um, barrel series and this is batch number two. This is uh, their Uncle Jacob Stout. Uh, which is a bourbon barrel aged uh, stout or imperial stout. It's considered a double imperial stout. Um, only 848 cases was produced and this was bottled on June 27th of 2013. And this right here is a monster. This comes in at a 16.53 alcohol by volume. Now, this is the biggest beer that I have ever drank. So... Uh, but uh, it's called Uncle Jacob Stout because I believe that this this is I believe the sixth great grand uncle of either the founder or of the uh, of the brewery. His name was Jacob Spears, and he was the very first uh, distiller to name his whiskey bourbon. Um, and uh, he had his distillery in Bourbon County, which was in Kentucky in 1790. So this beer is named in his, in his honor, and again, it is a bourbon barrel aged uh, stout it's aged in bourbon barrels so uh, with that being said uh, let me crack this bad boy open so I can get this into the glass and let you know if it's a yay or nay on Avery Brewing's uh, Uncle Jacob's uh, stout aged in bourbon barrels I like how they uh, put their they put the uh, aluminum right around the head so there we go as you can see it right there, I mean, wow, look at that. This thing just pours pitch black. I mean, as you can see, wow, this thing is really, really dark. So there we go again. Woo! I can smell that from here. Wow, that's very pungent. Now, as far as the color goes, as you can see, um, this thing is opaque. I mean, it's pitch black. No light is getting through the sucker um, as you can see when I was pouring it it wasn't developing much of a head so now it's just formed a little tiny head it's about almost a finger head and it's a dark khaki brown head um, as far as the alcohol lacing goes I mean I would expect this to have a lot of alcohol lakes due to the fact that it's almost a uh, it's almost a six uh, 17 percent alcohol beer so let's get a nose Wow. Man, now let me tell you that the uh, the alcohol is not hidden in this, so you can definitely get it. I, I got it right as I was pouring it, but I mean, right beside that, you also get the, uh, I mean, just a massive, you know, like uh, sweetness. Um, it, it's, you get the, uh, the typical, again, you get the, you get the cocoa nibs, you get the, the dark fruits in there. You know, you get the plums, you get the dates, you get the raisin, you definitely get the, the chocolate. But, um, yeah, it's very pungent. Wow, I mean, you get the roasted malts in there, and you definitely get the bourbon. I mean, it smells very, very good. Now, when I say it's uh, pungent, I don't mean pungent as in a, a bad pungent, but you definitely get the bourbon in there. Because, again, this is a, a bourbon barrel aged uh, double... Uh, it says a stout, but it's an imperial stout, double imperial stout. Wow, man, that smells, it smells pretty, it smells awesome. Well, my mouth is already watery, so let's uh, see what it tastes like. Salud. Man, wow. Now that is something different. I mean, you you get the uh, just massive sweetness I mean you you definitely get there's some definitely some super dark chocolate in there uh, wow I'm still trying to swallow it uh, you still get the uh, you get the chocolate you get the cocoa nibs you get the, the dark fruits you get the coffee um, and now I'm starting uh, to, to taste a little bit of the uh, the alcohol and it's, it definitely leaves you, it leaves a, a warm, soothing feeling, kind of like when you take a shot of hard liquor, you automatically feel kind of warm inside. I feel that right in my chest. But, um, yeah, you can definitely taste the bourbon. I mean, now, 
now that it's gone down, you can the bourbon flavor is starting to come out, and it's actually very smooth. I mean, it leaves a, a film inside the mouth, and all the flavors are coming together to, I mean, it just it tastes very nice. Um, the palate is not dry, and wow, yeah, I mean, I could definitely get that warm sensation, but it 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 doesn't leave any like a like a like a bad aftertaste or like a very sour bitter aftertaste. It's just smooth. You get one more. Salud. Yeah. Now I can definitely taste the, uh, the roasted coffee. Man, this is an awesome beer. Um, overall, as far as the uh, grading goes, I'm going to give this an A+. Now this beer comes in, uh, it only comes in 12 ounce uh, bottles. And it is a limited release, so if you can get your hands on them, get them. Because again, uh, it's I, be I believe the Barrel H series, it's only a one-time thing, meaning that it uh, uh, only comes out once a year. And I was lucky enough to find this at Barron's Marketplace, so if you see one in your area, um, pick a couple up. I actually did. Um, I mean, they're a, little, they're a little expensive. I actually paid $10.99 per bottle, um, but again, it's worth it. If it comes out once a year... And you only get a chance to taste it once a year. Get it. Um, I got one obviously to do the review, and I got one to age. So I have another one aging, and I believe the next one that's coming up in the line in the Barrel Age series is the uh, Rumpkin. Right now is July, uh, August, so in the fall the Rumpkin is uh, coming out. So I can't wait for that. But uh, yeah, uh, check out Avery Brewing. Uh, their beers never disappoint. They, they come out with some great stuff. One of my favorite IPAs is the Maharaja, which is a very beautiful, classic double imperial IPA, which is just phenomenal. So, with that being said, I give this an A. Um, if you see it at your local store, pick it up. It's very delicious. It's very good. It's one of those, again, uh, uh, the type of uh, imperial stouts that's going to age very well in time. You know, that, that booze is... It's going to smooth out in time. So pick a couple up. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me tonight on another review on good quality craft beer. I am Charles from Beer Republic. Thank you for stopping by. And as always, you stay classy.